well a dangerously close call for the Salvation Army as bullets came flying through windows of their South Salina Street building yesterday afternoon. News Channel Live's Jeff Kulikowski has more on this story. Jeff, was the Salvation Army the target of the shooting? Uh, right, no. From what police can tell right now, they were not the targets of it. These were stray bullets, but that's a little consolation for people who were at the Salvation Army when the shooting happened. We are extremely thankful that no one was hurt, but we are also very aware that this could have been a much different story that we're talking about here today if just a few of those facts turned out a little bit differently. We're talking seconds, minutes, and even within feet. In broad daylight, a little after three yesterday afternoon, Lazara says a bullet came whizzing through a window of an upstairs conference room where people had just left, right above a daycare full of kids. She says two bullets also whistled through the windows of a downstairs office they ran out to Arcabanadaga. So as far as where we work and knowing um, what the crime is like in this part of the city, people are aware. We know where we work, but it still doesn't make it any easier knowing what happened yesterday and knowing that it can happen at any minute of the day. It didn't happen at 3 in the morning. It happened at 3 in the afternoon. Syracuse police say they found several shell casings about a block away where the shooting incident seems to have taken place. People are out and about, people are at work, uh, there's kids in the area. Uh, it is certainly alarming. Uh, and the one thing, you know, we'd like to stress is that I, somebody had to see or know something that, you know, really that's what we'd like to get at. Did we do anything wrong? No. But what can we do better to make sure that our staff, our clients, everyone is safe going forward? God forbid something like this happens again. She says that includes bulletproof glass and cameras. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. All right, Jeff, thank you. Now, Syracuse detectives are working this case, but so far no arrests have been made. They are looking to hear from anyone who may have seen something or knows something about this shooting. Head to the new Channel 9 app for information on reaching police.